Back in the day, this was the best brake setup that money could buy. These days, however, pretty much all bikes have disc brakes, and the really nice ones have radial mount calipers and master cylinders. But hey, maybe you don't know what that means or how radial brakes are supposed to be better. Well then, get ready to learn something, because in today's video from the MC Garage, I'm gonna break it down for you. What we're discussing when we talk about radial calipers versus traditional or axial mount calipers is the way that the brake calipers are mounted to the bike's forks. As an example, the radial calipers on this Yamaha R1 are bolted with bolts that run parallel to the brake disc. Whereas on this FZ07 here, it's got axial calipers that are secured via bolts that run perpendicular to the brake disc. So it's the mounting bolts that determine if calipers are radial or axially mounted. Seems pretty simple, right? It is, but there's some pretty clear benefits to mounting your brakes like this instead of like this. Radial mounting typically offers better caliper to disc alignment, and it's also just a more rigid setup overall. And when it comes to brakes, rigidity is key. Since this R1's calipers are secured and supported at both ends instead of at one end like they are in the FZ, you get less caliper flex and better pad to disc contact under maximum braking. You'll notice I said maximum braking. This whole radial caliper thing started where most new technologies do, at the racetrack. And for racers, every little advantage is key. On the street, however, how your calipers are mounted has a lot less of an effect. The fact of the matter is, radial calipers are new, and they look cool, and that's what people want. All right, so that's the difference between radial calipers and axial calipers. But the same technology applies to master cylinders, too. If the master cylinder piston is parallel to the handlebar, it's a standard axial master. If the setup is perpendicular to the bar, it's a radial master cylinder. Just like with the radial caliper arrangement, there's a distinct benefit to radial master cylinder, and that is better brake feel. A radial master cylinder won't give you more braking power, but it will give you better braking power, since the lever acts directly on the piston inside the master cylinder. With an axial master cylinder, the force you apply to the lever is redirected about 90 degrees by the lever pivot, and that can rob you of feel when you're braking at the edge of traction. On top of all that, radial master cylinders are typically just made better. They're made from better materials with a better design, so they offer more rigidity. And as I pointed out before, rigidity is always a good thing. When it comes down to it though, brake performance is influenced by a lot of factors, and how your calipers or your master cylinder is mounted are at the bottom of the list. Far more important is if you have good brake pads and if your system is properly bled. Thankfully, we've got a video showing you how to do just that. All right, there you have it. The difference between radial brakes and axial brakes. I hope you learned something. That's it for this video from the MC Garage. Make sure you leave your comments below, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.